Welcome to Bakersfield College Grace Van Dyke Bird Library presents Research 101 Primary Sources Have a research paper due and your instructor says you need to use a primary source? What is that? Where do you find one? We can help you with that. Let's first talk about what a primary source is. You're probably used to secondary sources even though you may not have known that's what they're called. Secondary sources describe, analyze, interpret, and summarize primary sources. Scholarly books are a perfect example of this. Primary sources are something that was created at the time being studied or by someone who was there at the time. There are a long list of examples like diaries, letters, speeches, eyewitness accounts, autobiographies, and government publications. Many people forget that original research and clinical reports are also examples of primary documents. Finally, creative work such as poems, movies, art, photography, and artifacts like clothing and furniture can be primary sources also. Let's look at some examples between primary and secondary sources. Monet's painting Water Lilies is a primary source, while the analysis of the painting would be a secondary source because it analyzes the primary source. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank is a primary source because it is a first-hand account, while Ron Chernow's Alexander Hamilton is a secondary source because the author compiled a lot of sources to write the book. The Declaration of Independence is a primary source, while a description is a secondary source. Still confused? Think of it this way. Primary sources are original and non-interpreted. They are of and about a particular time or place. Secondary sources, on the other hand, are produced after the fact. They interpret or analyze primary sources. Sometimes the same source can be primary or secondary depending upon how it is being used. Magazines in and of themselves are secondary sources because they are a compilation of articles. But if I am studying topics and trends of 1921 and I'm using a magazine from that year, the magazine is now a primary source. I know, sometimes it can be really confusing. If you ever have any questions, ask a librarian. You may be asking yourself, how do I find a primary source? You can find primary sources in a lot of different places. It really depends on the type of source you are looking for. The library has many reference books, for example, that contain nothing but primary sources. We also have books in the general collection that contain primary sources. Here's a helpful hint. Check the book you're using for your research. Does it include primary sources like a letter or a government document? So many nonfiction books do, and they often go overlooked. For example, when looking through this book on Aztec culture, I found a photo of a codex fragment. This is a primary source. One of the easiest ways to search the catalog is to go to Word Anywhere and type in the topic and add the word sources. For example, Gold Rush sources, or Civil War sources, or Aztec sources. This won't work for everything, but it's a quick and easy way to search. If you know the Library of Congress subject term, you can do a subject keyword search using the term and add the word sources. For example, United States History Sources. Search for ebooks the same way. Our databases are filled with primary sources. Remember that original research is a primary source. We have some specialty digital archives filled with primary sources, such as Gale 19th century U.S. newspapers, Gale's slavery and anti-slavery, 
Times London Digital Archive, EBSCO AAS Historical Periodicals, EBSCO Civil War Primary Source Documents, and Digital New York Times and LA Times. Other primary sources are included in some databases. For example, Gale Biography and Context. When searching for a person like Mahatma Gandhi, one finds images, sources such as pieces that person has written, videos, and audio. And don't forget to look at the Gale Virtual Reference Library. Many of these electronic versions of books we have in our reference collection. You can also find primary documents online. Do a search for your topic and add primary sources. If I want to find a primary source about the Titanic, I can search Titanic primary sources and find results. I can also do an image search by using the same words. I can also use the term artifact instead of sources. The library has a long list of physical and electronic primary sources. Check out the primary sources libguide found on the library's homepage and it will walk you through how to find them. Here's a couple of things to remember. One, a picture or facsimile or translation still counts as a primary source. Sometimes the original isn't available. We won't have the actual Constitution of the United States in the library. Two, make sure your source is from a reputable site. Evaluate your source. And three, don't forget to cite your source. There is a tab on the Primary Sources LibGuide that will walk you through how to cite these sources. If you have any questions or need help, come by the Reference Desk or call a reference librarian at 395-4466. We're here to make the research process easier.